Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us try to estimate the product because till now we estimated the sum and the difference. So here also let us take an example. So estimate the following product using general rule 1291 multiplied by 592. So here also let us first uh, actually see what is the product that we get uh, 1291 multiplied by 592. So what we actually get is 2582 one one six one nine six four five five so this is the accurate product that you get so which is 7,64,272. So now when we estimate these two numbers and find the product, so let's see what do we get. So let us first try to uh, round off the numbers to thousands. So rounding off to thousands. So when we round it off to thousands for 1291, so this lies somewhere between 1000 and 2000. Now 1291 is more close to 1000, so this can be approximated to 1000. Similarly 592, so this lies somewhere between 0 and 1000 because when you are approximating it to thousands, so it's basically 0, 1000, 2000, 3000 and so on. So in that case it lies closer to 1000, so this would also be approximated to 1000. So therefore the result that you would get is this, that is basically 10 lakhs. And what is the uh, accurate output? It was 7,64,000, but you are getting it as 10 lakhs, which is like too high. So it is very less accurate. It is not accurate at all. Now let us try to round it off to hundreds. So rounding off to nearest hundreds. So in that case, 1291, this would lie between 1200 zero, zero, and 1300. Zero, zero. So 1291 one would be more closure to 1300. Zero, zero. So this can be approximated to 1300. Zero, zero. And 592, this would lie between 500 and 600. 592 would be closer to 600. So this can be approximated as 600. So 1300 into 600 will be 780,000. Now this number is a closer estimate, so this is more accurate. So this is a closer estimate and this is more accurate. However, when compared to the first scenario, it consumed more time because multiplying 1300 with 600 will take comparatively more time than multiplying 1000 into 1000. So now let us look at the rule if we have any for estimating products because here we see that to estimate products you might have two numbers where one number is in the range of thousands the other number is in the range of hundreds so what do we do so let's see if we can make some rule so let's say that what how the scenario would be which is a third scenario let us round off one two nine one two thousands and let us round off 592 to the nearest hundreds because this this number is in its hundreds place this number is in the thousands range so when you round off 1 to 9 1 to thousands place so this would be 1000 when you round off 592 to hundreds this would be 600 so that is what we had estimated before also so what would be the product in this case it would be 1000 into 600 which would be 6 lakhs. 
So when you look at this value, this again gives you a rough estimate. So this is also a rough estimate, but here the value might not be as accurate as it was in the second case, but at the same time, this process was quick enough because this multiplication did not take a lot of time because you have so many zeros. So considering this, the rule that was made for estimating product was this. We round off each factor to its greatest place and then multiply the rounded off factors. So basically, fa what are factors? Factors are nothing but each of these numbers like 1291 is a factor, 592 is a factor. So we round off each of these factor to its greatest place. For example, for 1291, the possible places are tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. So the greatest place is thousands place. So we rounded it off to thousands place. Similarly, for 592, it could have been rounded off to tens place or hundreds place. So the greatest is hundreds place. So we rounded off each factor to its greatest place and then we multiply the rounded off factors. So in this way, we can get a rough estimate which would be fast which we, through which you can give a fast estimate at the same time this would be kind of accurate now here when you look compare the three scenarios this scenario is more accurate but it is more time consuming the first scenario is very fast but it is not at all accurate it is far from accurate in the third scenario it is like medium accurate and medium quick so this is like a more sensible guess. So therefore, whenever we have to estimate product, we round off each factor to its greatest place and then we multiply the rounded off factors. Now following this rule, let us try to estimate the following products that is 9250 multiplied by 29. So in this case, where, how will we round off each of them? So we round off 9250, that is 9250 to its thousands place, so to the nearest thousands. So that would make it 9000, right? Similarly, we will round off 29 to the nearest tens and that would make it 30. So now when you multiply 9000 into 30, so what you get is 9, 3 is a 27, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So you get 2,70,000, which is a quick calculation and which is kind of accurate because if, if you want to see the exact value, then just multiply this. So this is the accurate value. This is the exact value. So this value is quite close to it. So this is accurate and this is also fast. So we could have a sensible estimate of the product. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.